Hey friends, so we are going to do the worksheets um, for pages, sorry, for chapters 16 and 17. So your quick write says, have you ever been to a fair, carnival, or amusement park? And write about your experience there. So tell me all about that. And then it says, multiple choice, choose the best answers. Who does not go with Wilbur to the fair? And you guys should know these, okay? So who went with him? Um, did Templeton go with him? Did Charlotte? Did the Goose? Did Fern? There's only one on this list that did not go with him. So you figure out who did not go with him. Okay. Number two, how much money does Mr. Arabelle give Fern at the fair? I'm not going to tell you how much money he gives her, but I am going to read that page to you. So on page 131, Mr. Arabelle gave Fern two quarters and two dimes. So you figured out how much is that? True or false? Charlotte meets another pig at the fair named Uncle. I'm going to tell you the pages to go to. I'm not going to tell you the answers. So go to page 134 and Charlotte meets another pig. Is his name Uncle? True or false? Number two, Wilbur hears Mr. Arabelle say he will be killed. So go to page 126 and toward the top of 126, um, Mr. Arable starts talking about Wilbur. Number three, Templeton does not go to the fair. True or false? If you go to page 124, that's when Templeton makes his choice. So go there and read it and tell me, does he go or not? Number four, the day of the fair is very chilly. If you go down to page 136, um, they start talking about the weather. So you can tell me if it's chilly or not. And number five, Charlotte is acting very tired at the fair. That's also on page 136. So you use page 136 for both of those answers. Imagery, find words or phrases from the text that help you to picture something memorable. Write the quotes below. So I picked one as an example. You can use it, but if you do, you have to use another one. So at the bottom of page 136, it says, then a few minutes later, Fern and Avery showed up. Fern had a monkey doll in her arms and was eating Cracker Jack. Avery had a balloon tied to his ear and was chewing a candied apple. The children were hot and dirty. So that imagery, I can picture them in my brain when it describes them like that. So that's what I would say. You can use that, but again, if you do, you have to use one more. Short answers, answer the questions in complete sentences. Number one. How do the people and the animals prepare for the country fair, county fair, I'm so sorry, name at least three ways. So I'll give you one way. And this is all in your first chapter, in chapter 16. So on page 121, um, Mrs. Zuckerman is bathing Wilbur in buttermilk. So you can use that, but tell me why she's doing it, okay? Um, and then you need to find two other ways in that chapter that the other people prepare for the county fair. Number two, why is Wilbur worried while he is at the fair? Name at least two reasons. So you would say, Wilbur is very worried at the fair. One reason is, if you go to page 134, Charlotte starts talking about the other pig and Wilbur gets really worried. He gets tears in his eyes because he's so worried that the other pig is gonna be better than him. So that's one reason. You find the other reason why he's worried. Describe uncle. What is Charlotte's opinion of uncle? Use textual evidence to support your answer. So she starts talking about uncle on page 134 and she talks about him on page 135 too. Okay, so you need to read those pages and tell me what she thinks of him Okay, tell me what she thinks of him and use evidence from the book. Now we're on our vocab. Varietable means true or real. So write down the definition and draw something that is true or real. Ascended means went up. So write down the definition and draw something that went up. Listless means lifeless or lethargic, like really sleepy. So write that down and then draw something that is listless. 
Then you have your fill in the blank. So number one, the newspapers all declared the firefighter a blank hero after he saved the baby from the burning house. Number two, we watched as the bird blank to great heights in the sky. Number three, the heat of the day made us feel blank and lazy. Then you have your beyond. So in the picture frame, draw a picture of how you imagine Wilbur looks as he goes to the fair, then write a paragraph all about Wilbur. So draw Wilbur as he's going to the fair. What does he look like? Um, remember how he got ready. So he's probably really good looking because he got a buttermilk bath and then write a paragraph about him. It could be about how he feels. It could be a prediction. It could be your opinion of the county fair, whatever you want, as long as it's about Wilbur, okay? So those are all of your worksheets for today, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. All right, bye. <laughs>